What's up, you guys? I'm back. It's Inferiorman again. Welcome back to the Black 2 Randomizer type block. In the last episode, if you missed it, it was two weeks ago. We took on the final gym leader, Marlin. We are now here about to go on to Route 21 to go stop Team Plasma and their shenanigans. And uh, if you've been wondering why I've been gone so long, you might not be following me on Twitter, which I leave in the description of every video on my channel. But if you did not check out my tweets on Twitter, um, I live in Iowa in the United States. And we had an issue last week of the time I'm recording this, um, where the power went out. And, uh, we had that for about a week, and still after then, uh, we had a few days without Wi-Fi, so I could not upload for that long of time. Uh, so basically what, what that was, was that we basically had hurricane winds, which it doesn't usually happen in our area of the country. And it did a lot of damage to things like corn crops, stuff like that. Buildings were definitely destroyed. A lot of stuff went on, but we are recovering. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't take as long to recover. Um, because the farmers obviously are devastated that I've been hit. But yeah, with that all the way, um, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already so you can get updates about why I don't upload and stuff like that. But now... Uh, let's just continue. We definitely get an encounter on this route. This route is very uh, reminiscent of Hoenn. Like, it has a very strong Hoenn feel because the whole route is uh, water. You surf on the whole route. I'm going to try to avoid trainers as much as I can because we don't really need to battle any. We have plenty of experience for our Pokemon. Level 55 is where everybody's at right now. So we definitely cannot catch a War Turtle because our three types are Dark Dragon and rock so uh that's not something we can get um if we could get something like a drap uh, drapeon or any dark type that because I, I i feel like at this point we can't get a dark type that's just pure dark or first uh type dark so i feel like we're gonna get something secondary like drapeon or I don't know, Drapion's the only Pokemon I can think of at the top of my head that's secondary dark. Okay, this guy we can't avoid. There's no way we can avoid this guy. Um, I, I kind of, like, I was trying to find out where we were going next, and I went up to, like, the route above, and then I realized that's the route that we have to go to to get to the Victory Road. So, Sharpedo's a secondary dark type. That would be lovely. I'd, I'd love to have a Sharpedo. Have that. Um, I don't know if I'd be putting it on the team because we already have a water type but um, definitely something we could consider having in the future but I'm not saying that we're gonna encounter something like that I, it would be nice but I don't think so if it's even found on this route I don't even know that all right what's this gonna be um if you haven't been watching this series like the, the whole time <laughs> basically um at this point there's only a few types left, so I don't just run around in the, in the route until I find a type that I need. I just go through the route, and if we encounter something that's something we need, then fantastic. I. But if we don't, then we just don't get an encounter for that route. So that's that's basically how it's been since we've had about five, six types left. Um, we were lucky to get a psychic type first try when we did get our psychic type, but... Uh, when it got down to four types, that's when it got tough. We were lucky to find a ground type in Diglett. Um, and we'd be really lucky to find a dark type, or we'd be extremely lucky to find a dragon type. It's the rock type that's surprising me that we haven't found, because rock types are so common in the regular game. Like, every time we step into a cave, there's a rock type. I'm surprised we haven't run into an Onyx, a Geodude, anybody in the Geodude line. Um, obviously if we ran into a Steelix, that'd be a ground type, so that wouldn't work. Um, so only Onyx would work for that. It, it would... I, I'm just hoping, hoping that we run into those types. Because having every type covered by the end of the series is the main goal from the start. Obviously, the main goal actually is to complete the game without losing. But the next goal in a type block is to finish the game with every type covered. And I'd really like that for, for I'd like for that to happen. So if that could happen, I'd be really happy. Um, we did not find an encounter in the water there, but it's very possible we could find one in the cave. But first let's see what this trainer has. 
She's only got one Pokemon. Her name's Technician Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. And she stole our Pokemon. How dare she? Dexter's mine. This looks like that Spider-Man meme where they're pointing at each other. <laughs> um, should I use a Psychic type move? I think I should go with Shadow Ball, cause Psychic, Psychic, um, against Psychic won't do as much, even though it is Fighting type. I'm definitely gonna use a Potion. I know we're faster and we knock it out, but I don't want to risk anything. Dexter is an MVP on the team, so it'd be nice if he didn't die. <laughs> See, we wouldn't have killed it. It used Swords Dance, but it used an attack before. We probably would have been dead, so... Don't be mad at me for taking precautions, because Dexter would have died there if I didn't. Try and... I mean, I know we only have two deaths in the series, but you don't want death. That's the, pers that's the purpose of the Nuzlocke challenge. I know it's kind of boring seeing somebody play a Nuzlocke and then have, like, no deaths at all, but... I mean... That's the goal of the Nuzlocke, to not faint your Pokemon, so... It's not like I... What did I say, guys? I said Drapion. That was my example. Yo. We got a Dark-type out here, finally. Um, I don't know if I should attack it, because I feel like I'm gonna kill it. Because Psychic is super effective. Psychic doesn't affect Dark, but it is super effective against Poison. And fighting is super effective against Dark, even though Poison resists it, so... I'm just gonna try to chuck Ultra Balls at it, see if it, we can catch it without attacking it. Um... Obviously, if I whip out Nidoking, I got rid of Toxic Spikes, but even if I did have Toxic... I caught it with the first ball, look at that! But, even if I did have Toxic Spikes, it wouldn't affect it. Ogre Scorp Pokemon, that's the classification? It's an ogre? <laughs> That's news to me. Well, obviously that means there's only one name we can give this guy. And thankfully he's a male, so we can name it this. Throwback to my very first series, the Omega Ruby Nuzlocke, when my starter was a Mudkip that I named Shrek. And unfortunately it never got to be a Swampert, but... Yep, yeah, we named it Shrek because of, you know, Swamp stuff like that and how it's a big Pokemon when it mega evolves it's got big arms and stuff like that ogres are strong fortunately we never got to see that mega evolution but I mean hey we got we got shrimp uh, shrimp Shrek in the form of a Drapion and this trainer has a Uxie of course it would have the breadhead um I'm gonna go for a shadow ball to start off with I guess it's a good thing that I have Dexter in the first spot, because Dexter's doing good for us. If we could kill this before uh, Future Sight hits us. I don't know if Future Sight's going to kill. I'm going to switch out. What's a Pokemon that's super effective but won't die? Um, no, we got rid of his Dark-type move in the last episode. Um, shoot. Okay, I guess we just have to hope and pray that it doesn't kill. Because we're going to knock out Yixi. I mean, I guess I could bring in anything and just knock it out with that, but... Alright. That didn't do much at all. So, I guess I was just overestimating things. Let's just use Marty. Marty's our electric type. Staravia can be easily killed with electric type moves. Especially since it's not a Star Raptor. I don't know if... It would get one-shotted if it was a Star Raptor, but it's definitely going to get one-shotted being a Star Avia. Look at that. Oh, I haven't mentioned it yet. Yeah. Um, again, if you don't follow me on Twitter, or if you didn't see my tweet, I finally have the computer chair. And that is van fantastic. Um, I expected the arms of the chairs to be lower, be able to be lowered and raised, but unfortunately that's not the case. But it does have built-in massagers that I can turn on, which is fantastic. I can probably turn on repels if I have any. Litwick. See, that's that's another great Pokemon that we could have, but we don't have the type available to us. I'm just happy we have a dark type, so we only have to worry about two more types now. That is great. That guy's got some rog and rollas there. What's up, dog? Uh 
I know they're not going to actually be Rog and Rolla, but why do you have only Rog and Rollas? Are you Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Do you got all them rocks? Okay, if we're battling three Cascoon here, I don't really care. That's nothing. Dexter's still asleep, but, like, what's what's this thing gonna do? Use Poison Jab? That's... I don't think this thing's even gonna have an attack move. Um, so I'm going to use... Just... I'll use a Hyper Potion, whatever. We have plenty of them, I can buy more. We got plenty of money to buy more. If it's just gonna keep on using hard and there's nothing to worry about here. I'll just tap on Shadow Ball until he wakes up. If that could be soon, I'd be very thankful. There we go. Look at that, we one-shotted it, even though it used Harden a bunch of times. Are they all three Cascoon? No, this one's an Absol. That's fine, we can keep it in. It's weak to fighting. It's weird that they're not all the same Pokemon, since they're all randomized from Rog and Rolla, but I guess that's just how it works. Samurai. Um, I could have switched out. I don't know why I didn't. I guess I just didn't pay attention, but Psychic should do some hefty damage. Yep, two Psychics will take care of it. And it gave us an Encore just to tell us that it wants that. So thanks thanks for the assistance, Samurai. I was going to use it again anyway, but I mean, if, if that's what you want, I'm not going to deny it. I thought he only had three. Well, I guess we're switching out again. I mean, we're switching out, finally. We could have stayed in for Marty because if we had switched out to it like I was going to plan on doing. Well, hello, Pharaoh. He's, yeah, this is his last Pokemon. Okay, I should have looked at that before. But I, I wasn't really thinking about it because I just assumed he would have had three. I, every time that we battle a trainer that has four Pokemon, I just find it hilarious because every gym leader in this game only had three Pokemon. Like, the gym leaders only have three, but yeah, normal trainers, they can have five, six, who cares? Thanks, dude. Let's get out of this cave, bros. Alright, is this another route? No, this is Undella Bay, so we could get another encounter here. I believe so. This isn't the same water area as before. I've looked at the map, so I'm pretty sure it's not. Undella Bay? Yeah, that's an actual route, so this is an encounter. If we could find a dragon or rock type in the water, that would be fantastic. It looks like we're going to have to battle this trainer. Unfortunately, that's not unavoidable. If they could have one Pokemon, that would be fantastic, because every trainer except for the Rock and Roller trainer so far has had one Pokemon. Yep, she has one. What's up, uh, Sailor Jonathan? It's got a Dust Noir. Okay, let's hope it doesn't use a super strong Ghost type move, and we can use our super strong Ghost type move. That isn't Stab, unfortunately, but it's still going to do a lot. Yeah. It used Shadow Punch, but that didn't do much to us, because we're like 26 levels ahead of it. I think we're good with levels for a while. I I'm pretty sure we're good with levels for a while. It was just the gym trainers that had a lot of uh, levels. Because that's it's supposed to be a challenge, they know where your levels are going to be in the game. Okay, let's avoid this dude. Uh, or we can get an encounter. If it's a rock type or a dragon type, it's a psychic type, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's just keep on hoping. We can cross our fingers and just hope for it. Avoid the trainer. Ooh, that was close. He just went back to the beginning. Is this a dive spot? Apparently we're going to be diving later on. This just feels like Hoenn. This is literally Hoenn right now. Rock or dragon. That is the same psychic type we just encountered. Please give me one of the last two types we need. I don't think Kyrim's gonna be randomized. I mean, if the Platinum game wasn't randomized, is this gonna be randomized? Who knows? Okay, apparently the only encounters here are Chimeco. <laughs> On the other route, we had Wartortle. Wasn't there another Pokemon? Or is there only one encounter because it's Magikarp? Um, excuse me. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, I don't think I have any repels, but there's got to be another way for us to go. It, it's Cameron who said that we had to go on Route 21, so... Let me just look at the map again. I mean, this is just going to take us to Undella Town. Are we going in the right way? 
I'm just gonna fly to Indela Town, because why would we need to... Why would we need to surf there? Undella Town it is, fellas. I really hope I'm going the right way, because I don't want to end up getting lost again. You know, you guys know that I've gotten lost plenty of times in this game. <laughs> we could try for a surf encounter in uh, Undella Town. No, I wanted to heal my Pokemon, darn it. I have to fast forward, because I don't want to sit through that again. Thank you, ma'am. Slam bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright. Maybe we have to return to the city with, um, where everything's frozen again. I don't know. This is Undella Town still, so... Let's see if we can get anything. I'm just gonna encounter one Pokemon. It's a dragon type! Let's go! Alrighty. I, once again, I have no idea if we're actually gonna catch this thing. Uh, we can definitely do a brick break. That's resisted. We killed it because Dexter got a crit. Good job, Dexter. We finally found a dragon type and you killed it. <laughs> Bro. I got really excited for that. And he just went and killed it. How dare he. Okay, maybe we are going the right way because this is new. Obviously because we're battling a trainer we haven't battled before. I just flew to Undella Town. We didn't even have to waste our time with uh, Undella Bay and all that. I mean, we've got our encounter in the caves, so I'm happy about that. Hopefully I'm going the right way because maybe we weren't supposed to exit the cave. I don't know, guys. I'm just going to use Shadow Ball and kill this Motham and hope that we can find the right way to go. Because now we're poisoned. That's fantastic. Um, was Gen 4 the last gen that you get poisoned while you walk, or is, is that Gen 5 too? I can check. Nope, we're not getting hit. But we are getting an encounter with uh, another trainer. I know, I feel like we should just carry on on this route, and, um... Uh, we can... I can find it in between episodes where we're supposed to go, because the next episode's gonna be on Monday. And if you guys are wondering, I didn't mention this before, if you guys are wondering why this episode's going on Friday and this will only upload this week, it's because um, the only episode I had last week was the day that uh, the storm happened, so I only got one episode black two, and I want the episodes to be even numbered, so um, I, I want to make sure we haven't gotten an encounter on this route yet. No, we're going to a new town. Okay, maybe this is the right way, because that's Black City. Alright, um... I'm going to heal the poison. Um, I wanted to keep the number of episodes even so that um, if it's six episodes left, because I don't know how many episodes are left. If it's six episodes left, then um, there's the berry I wanted. Then um, we can end on a, on a Friday. If not, then if it's five episodes, if it's an odd number, then we can end, end on Monday and have the first episode of Heart Gold on a Friday. Alright, that's a type that we already have. I'm going to fast forward through these encounters here. Because if we could encounter something like a... That Oshawa would have been a nice water type if the water type wasn't our first um, Pokemon we caught. There's another fighting type. Come on. Give me a good one. That's a psychic type. I, I remember when I used to think Duosion was a ghost type. Because doesn't it look like a ghost type? I mean, in uh, the trading card game, uh, ghost types don't exist, they're all psychic types, so I just thought, oh, this is just a ghost type that they put under psychic type. But nope, it's a psychic type. Alright, I'm going to try for a couple more encounters, because so far we haven't encountered a rock or a dragon type. And it seems like all we're going to have here is Primeape, Oshawott, Barboche, and... Ocean. And if that's true, then we aren't going to be able to get an encounter on this route. We could have had a dragon type, and that's what makes me sad, because I know that Brick Break wouldn't have killed if it wasn't a crit. Because dragon resists fighting. And we're going to be battling this trainer. I was going to surf on, onto the water there and see if we could get an encounter. But it looks like we'll be battling this trainer. I mean, she has, she has one Pokemon. I'll battle this trainer, encounter a couple Pokemon, and then we'll end off the episode. That's not too bad of an idea. 
I don't think so, at least. Do you guys think it's a bad idea? Because I don't think it's a bad idea. I have no ideas for, for, like, thumbnails or tiles for this video. Obviously, you guys know what I came up with at this point, but... Um, maybe I'll just make it... I'm back. And, uh... Yada, yada, yada. But let's check out if we can get an encounter on, on this route. Because if Garchomp is found on this route too, that'd be fantastic. I'm going to encounter three Pokemon. That is a Psychic Ice type. Or just pure ice. I don't remember what Smoochum is. Or pure Psychic, whatever. That's a Rock type. That's a Fossil Pokemon, so that's a Rock type. It's level 19, it works. Um, which means we can probably catch it in an Ultra Ball. That's, that's likely. It's only level 19 because this is probably the magic heart for the route. But this is an encounter we can get. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward because obviously, obviously it won't take that much time. It just broke out of that ball. Yeah, there we go. Tortuga. Let's go. Finally I have a rock type. We're only, we could have had all the types covered in this episode. I just realized that if we hadn't killed the Garchomp and caught it, we would have had every type covered in this episode. That's so sad. But yeah, we're, we're gonna name this, um... Um, this is a reference to that Kung Fu Panda meme. <laughs> Cause, uh, Master Igwe is a... Is a tortoise, so, um... Mmm, monkey. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Perfect amount of spaces. Mm, monkey. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Answer that question in the day down below. Uh, ring that notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of the series and other videos on my channel. This is Infernament burning out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.